It's just the adrenaline rush. I mean, I'm not an adrenaline junkie, but I do absolutely love flying. Just something about it, just being up in the air, it's a viewpoint not everyone gets to see, and then once you experience it for the first time, you don't forget it. You just constantly crave that. So whether that's in an airplane or flying a drone, and just the opportunities that come with that and the experience you gain is so fulfilling. Growing up, my dad was a pilot. As a toddler, my dad just put the car seat in the back of his plane and we went flying. I probably had around 1,100, 1,200 hours of just flying with him. I pretty much grew up here on campus. My parents brought me up here as I was younger and it was easily became an obsession with being at the university. And so it was a very easy choice when I graduated. I didn't apply to any other college and knew exactly where I wanted to go. So I came straight here. So I graduated from the University of Alabama in 2019 with a degree in operations management with a specialization in supply chain. I moved down to Florida and worked for a cold freezer company and was a transportation manager. And my passion was aviation and aerospace. Being down on the space coast of Florida, I got to see the SpaceX rockets take off all the time and that has just completely changed my life because I've always been interested in airplanes. I never really saw myself pursuing an education in aerospace and aeronautical engineering. But once I determined that's exactly what I wanted to do and I realized that's where my true passion was, I came straight back to the University of Alabama to pursue that. My college experience is completely different this time. I've become more interested in doing work on campus. Joining the Logger Lab and becoming part of the Remote Sensing Center has played a huge role. It's given me plenty of opportunities and experience as an undergraduate student to understand what it is to be part of the aviation industry in some sort. And that's where I became obsessed with drones, UAVs, microcontrollers, and all that technology. For me, that was the easiest thing to get into, to be relatively close to flying. Flying an airplane is very expensive, but to fly a drone, it's only a few hundred bucks, and if you do it yourself and take the time and the skills to learn it, you can make it out for a lot cheaper, and that was my interest in it. was I wanted to learn things. I want to learn how to build, how these things work. And so there's a massive field that I did not know existed, and the university has brought that to me, and it's a huge passion I have, and it's something that I really want to make a career in. So last year I took two trips, one to Grand Junction, which I went there for about a month, and then I went to Crested Butte, Colorado, and that was for about a week and a half to two weeks. When we went to Grand Junction, we took the drones out and we did lots of snow depth measurements and density measurements on top of the Grand Mesa. And if you don't know about the Grand Mesa, it's one of the largest flat top mountains in the world and it sustains a lot of snow on top. And when we do passes over the top, we'll take small grid sections with a drone and calculate the snow density and measurements and then kind of give that data off to NOAA and then they can forecast how much snow will melt and then go into the Colorado River and kind of give an indication of how much water will be put into the Colorado River. The university offers lots of opportunities for undergraduate students, and in my case is excellent because you could see in the trips that I've been on, the places I've been to, the experiences that I've gained is tremendous. I think it plays a huge role because it kind of defines of what I want to do after I graduate. I know where I want to go. Now that I do, I can hone in on my skills and become excellent in my field.